right, so I'm back here now to begin modeling the canopy, which is going to go up here. And this is going to be sort of exaggerated and cartoony. So the way I'm going to start this is just going to the top view and creating a polygon cube. You'll notice just about everything we're working with right now is, is a cube. And I'm going to go ahead and just uniformly shape that up. And uh, maybe just oversize it a little bit here. And coming back out of that, uh, perspective view here. And this is the width of it. Uh, maybe something like that, not too thick. And selecting W, and I'm going to move it up into position here. So normal garf golf cart might be somewhere around here. Since we're going for something exaggerated, I'm going to push mine up here like that, get a little high. And um, because I want the poles to sort of flare out, I don't want to keep them straight. I'm going to actually bend them out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and size this up just a little bit more to allow for that. OK. And I'm going to add some uh, subdivisions in here. Oops. There we go. Uh, let's do one more. And we'll go ahead and add some across here, because we're going to deform it a little bit. Just divide it up evenly like that. And uh, let's come in here and shape it a little bit, grabbing the vertices just on the top row here. Make sure I didn't get anything else. And W, kind of raising that up. And then these here, just in the center. And I'm going to come under here and select all the faces here. and. I'm going to delete them. Oops. Had a couple on the top here I didn't see. Let's make sure we're good there. Delete those. And then I'm going to shape the bottom here just a little bit more. Uh, these two, I'm going to pull them up as well as uh, just grab all of these right here. to kind of arch that up a little bit. Now these are probably up just a little too high. Let's bring those back down. Okay. So just a little interest to that. And let's come back to the object. And we just have a shell right now. So we need to uh, create some, uh, some depth to that. So I'm going to actually go to Faces, select the whole thing and extrude that. I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to uniformly scale that in like that. OK, so and you can size it however you want. If you want it you know, real thin or something kind of thick and chunky, uh, you just go ahead and shape it how you want. And now that I have that, uh, I'm going to have to add some tension lines here. So we're going to insert edge loop and just kind of go around here, creating our tension lines, one across the bottom, top, back here. And we'll need one inside here as well to kind of hold that together. And let's go ahead and select three and take a look at that. It looks pretty good. I want a little bit of roundness here, and you can always kind of adjust these if you, you know, want to pull the, the edges in a little bit so you have a little bit softer look to it. That's fine. Let's go back to one. And I'm going to put a, a lattice deformer on there now. That's why I added those additional uh, lines here of resolution. So I'm going to go under animation. Uh, let's go back to object here. Create deformer and uh, let's go five this way here. Create that and hovering over that lattice point. 
and just go ahead and shape this how how you want. Um, I'm going to kind of warp mine a little bit. Uh, I'm going to select the ones in the back here and actually rotate them a little bit and maybe move them down. Get a little bit of an arch there. I might uh, rotate these a little bit more here. Same thing up here in the front. Uh, let's grab all of those. So just take a little time and kind of shape it however you want. And um, I might drop these edges down here a little bit too, the sides here. And here. And kind of push them down a little bit like that. All right. And when you're done with that, to break that connection, uh, go back to object mode select the whole thing, the lattice and the object, come under edit, delete by type, history, and that gets rid of the deformer there. And now I'm going to add the, the four poles here to hold up the canopy, and I'm going to do that by coming under create. We're going to use a NURBS uh, cylinder for that, so just drop that in there. Um, in the center, and we're going to have to shape that now, so I'm going to scale it down, and it's a little bit of a process here, just kind of scaling it up in Y, and then bringing it all back down uniformly until you sort of have the size that you're, you're after, and then moving it up into position here. And it's probably going to be a little back and forth here until we get the, the actual size that we want. And that feels a little too thick still, so I'm going to scale it down a little more. And I really want mine kind of exaggerated and skinny. Uh, keep it right about there. And just move it down into position right about there. Let's have it sit right there, kind of on the edge like that, and uh, kind of check to see where it is here. That looks pretty good. And uh, before I go any further here and forget, I need to actually add some spans here so we have the capability of, of bending that. Right now there's just one in there. So let's put about uh, 12 in there. So you can see it, uh, it divided that up there, so we now have enough resolution to actually bend those. And let's go ahead and duplicate that now. Slide that over for the other one in the front. And if you want to get real exact with it, you can go into your top view and uh, kind of line those up perfectly if you want. Um, and kind of leave mine there. And I'm going to duplicate just one, move it to the back because I'm going to have to size it again. And select R. Drop that in there. It's a little tall. There we go. Like that. And duplicating that and bringing it across. And that looks about even. Right there. Okay, so now we have the, the four poles in here and they're all nice and straight. Um, and what we're going to do now is add a deformer by selecting all of those, coming under Create Deformer Lattice. And uh, I've got five divisions uh, across that way. It's probably more than I even needed. And right mouse clicking over that, Lattice Points, I'm going to select the top row here. And I'm more concerned about just the shape of the poles right now. I can always adjust where uh, the canopy top is sitting. So I'm going to select R to scale, and I'm going to come in here and select the center one and scale it out uniformly, and then move down to the next row, select all of that, and scale it out like that. And then I'm going to jump down here to this row grab the center and kind of scale that in a little bit. Just kind of making sure I've got plenty of room there. Okay, so I might scale this one in a little too. And 
you know, you can kind of shape it however you want. It doesn't have to follow this exact uh, bend that I'm doing. If you want to kind of do something, you know, a little more crazy like that, um, you know, that's fine. Um, it doesn't even have to be uniform. You can, you know, kind of pull things out differently, um, you know, however you like. So I'm just going to go back to my kind of simple curve here. And I think I'll grab the top row and just kind of bring that out a little bit more. There. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to have to kind of reposition the uh, this or maybe even size it up a little bit more. It's um, a little small. Uh, one more little tweak right there. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go back to object mode and select both of those and go under edit, delete by type, history, and get rid of that lattice there. All right, so let me just grab this and kind of uh, reshape it a little bit too, and position it back like that. And I don't quite have those going all the way up there. I can either, you know, bring this down like that or um, I can always go back and just uh, on these kind of individually kind of move those up. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and for the sake of simplicity kind of move that down like that. Okay. So we've got our canopy now and the next thing we're going to work on is uh, the back of the cart here. We're going to create some wood slats that sort of enclose this area back here. So we'll do that in the next lesson.